We are crossing the tracks from a Hungarian provincial town 50 miles from Budapest to a settlement of gypsies. They live in cottages once owned by Hungarian peasants, but as the gypsies moved in, Hungarians moved out. Kana pusher mandar hoj me kai besav me lazama te pena hoj perdalo basu te besav ke hi abasti amaro kher lasu le mai but kher tele junga yarunis hakik cigan telat hoy akar suh kur romsan mare kai te jas budu te tele dichol patu te hoj romsan This woman Maron is one of the gypsies or rom who are 3% of the Hungarian population it's official communist policy to clear sites like this and to absorb the gypsies into Hungarian society. But the people here want to maintain their separate identity. They speak their own language, Romani. <laughs> Maron's husband, Yoji, works in a factory near the settlement. Work is compulsory in socialist Hungary, and Yoji, like many other gypsies, is dependent on his wages. Nevertheless, his family maintains the gypsy way of life. Gypsies are proud of their separateness from society, but most depend on the outside world for their means of survival. Georges' first wife, Therese, keeps pigs, and she scavenges through the town rubbish bins to find bread to feed them. It's at the market that gypsies can earn money on their own terms, trading horses and circulating their meagre wealth to ensure it stays in no one person's hands for very long. Turning money round, they call it. Mokush, Therese's husband, in the black cap, tries to earn commission bringing buyers to sellers. His brother-in-law, Shera, is the broker. 
Mokush and his wife, Therese, own two horses. The day after the market, one delivered a foal. Mokush is making the stable secure to separate his other horse from his mare and new foal. A horse represents considerable wealth, nearly half the value of Mokush's house. <laughs> Mokushi's brother-in-law is the settlement's most successful horse dealer. He is disqualified from state work by a dubious disability, and he concentrates on trading and breeding. We use that to sell, do you have your business? Sell, sell, do it. Then I come back and we to have a chicken. Each one. No gypsies have stallions themselves. Only Hungarians have licenses from the state for stud. Dealing in horses has enabled Shera to build himself a sizable house. He has a constant turnover of animals and owns two cows, for which he's paid by the state. With his various sources of income, he's reluctant to join the official economy and take his family to be members of the collective farm. Shara's wife Pepesh is a registered dealer who finds scrap metal on the town tip and sells it back to the state. Asa kodes gadokerov, kidavle sastre, hrti, 
ако младори аламиниумо, анда гадо трае батран да бер. Ај пе гадо мај бутро да апсарте јапка валала туте кура. Anda gado mai but lovela. Vi gado butina. Per, sa hai sarte, na vi gada ka sa min ke mai pari buti sar kavala la tu te kira sa buti. Hai sor rojes, je kata deste hara shov chasuri, je pala mizmeri doi chasuri ka tesim, hai sa pe purre desim me chi be shaptili. Hai o jan gada vi konan de jara jal buti te kerel. Ushtel deste hara shov e chase goji kal doi chase kerel buti. Hai me gada buqi kamo. Mankat. Se melali buqi, vadu. Ai hi abasi melali buqi so shay kira. Ai ve jara melali le gei puri hai sako fele. Kate pale sako fele me stupi bani. Melali buqi da pochinel nishto. So shay kira. Hanch. For gypsies, all Hungarians are peasants or gaje as they are contemptuously called in Romani. Outward signs of sharing Hungarian traditions are deceptive. Adir kamlam te bolas, akana kalo yester boldi sa ha bagada shovuri, bagada shovuri mindig nasval kerdisas. Agada shovuri mindig sarsi nasval kerdin, podui to kamlam te bolavla hodjo nasvali petele te na chol palate, ha dolo sunto te dela sa stipe ha izor, ke la ko anguni anguni pe bolo i peci si keruli sar dehla ke. Mi jutta i sovori rakhajila sai boldala godera akli, ke godena amaru filosas, hanem gode ungriko raklisas. Maron has brought the child to another gypsy baby's baptism, hoping she can be christened again. Köszönöm! Én megkeresztelek téged, az Atya, a Fiú és a Szent Lélek nevében. Fenelle Savor az Irinas Vale. Kenai boldele shavore, hai tu incha ben pepengi sine, kana le shavore boldele. The priest has refused to christen the child a second time, so Marin does it herself in the porch. Ve filme zila pa. It's Easter morning. Shara, the horse dealer, is on his way to greet his relations. But his tour is interrupted by bad news from Mokush's stable. The mayor has not delivered the afterbirth. <laughs> Ти трябва да тръгнеш да фидеш с тебе. Е, 
maggiotolo, no, che mi ricuti molto, e te ne ho trovato maggiotolo. Ma il rupi là tu, ma la cina è migliore. Piccirolo, ci prendiamo tu, perché fa la guida e fa proprio un bacio. Sì, dai, è poco, vi l'ha ferito. Le cure, ma te non vedi mai. Oh, ma di clara oggi, ma più che tu dopo in coschio, ma... Ma ora è bello sinceramente. No, no, sto sempre in coschio. The gypsies are particularly concerned because she's a special mare. She's a gypsy horse, not a Hungarian. Gypsies designate favorite horses as gypsy and won't sell them unless they have to. People not directly related to Mokush are less worried. Teams of men are on their way round the settlement with special greetings in celebration of Easter. Now he is reassured by the vet, Shara visits his uncle. As Easter Day wears on, the men settle down to long drinking sessions. They sing about money, poverty and brotherhood. Thank you. 
Nagyon szorgalmas emberek. The next day the gypsy horse is a lot worse. Injections have not succeeded in delivering the afterbirth, so the vet will have to try and remove it himself. The vet is Hungarian and doesn't speak Romani. <laughs> The vet has failed to remove all the afterbirth. It's rotting inside the mare. So the gypsies have had to hire a van to take the horse 40 miles to hospital. While the mare is examined, Therese mutters a curse, a promise of penance if the mare survives. <laughs> Hi, 
Gadala cibi knav. Ne gadala? Hay. In navy. Te kilesa. Perse, tu godale sa mai bolda sa ne pali. Nai mi što je grasta mi butaj. Sosta. Ha, čo a ti jelo manu šubaju. A to la bude te veliski vahaj meni. April, the market season, is in full swing. While Mokush wants to sell his second horse, his brother-in-law Shara wants to buy. <laughs> when Shara can't find suitable horses, he makes money as a broker acting as a go-between for buyers and sellers. Hey, 
Usually, before a sale is concluded, a horse is shown off. One challenging test is to drag a cart with one or more wheels locked. It's after one such test that Mokush sells his horse. As the go-between in this deal, Sherer gets his cut, both from the buyer and from the seller, his brother-in-law. The horse changed hands for the equivalent of £2,000 in cash. Mokush is not going to reinvest his money just yet. So he turns to making small commissions as an intermediary. At first, the seller refuses to drop his price, but Mokush is determined. While Mokush perseveres in his pursuit of a commission, Shera buys a round of drinks to share his earnings. Ah, 
The deal has finally been struck, but not by the actual buyer and seller. They've been working through proxies. The onlookers move on to witness the payment. It's made directly, in cash. Mokush gets his cut for his efforts. It's the evening of May Day. The gypsies are celebrating. The next day, Mokush is back at work. At work, gypsies are answerable to Hungarians. But when they are trading, outside the official economy, gypsies can try to gain the advantage. Mokush and Shera have been brought to a nearby village by a gypsy friend who thinks that a peasant might have a horse for sale. Mokush is outraged at the price the Hungarian is asking. Unlike the gypsies, the Hungarian is not prepared to bargain. Jó van, balagyozunk, 
Ha 45 nem adod, még se, hogy nem eladod. Ha 40 ezer, én nem adjam. Nem adom, mondom, mondtam, csak 45. Ha Nem forgat ilpe, de nem dagrasz tündig el, de szarandé. Ugye volt ültet ill, le kolompíre, az ő cségó, le peredécsi, le pipercsi. Olyan dagadott rájú. Olyan kertészked ill. Olyan dagadott rájú. Olyan dagadott bold el peszkolóvé. It's not only Hungarians who grow vegetables. This year, for the first time, Maron and Józsi have dug their garden. Hai azért, két szerrá a maró fizeti, hogy mégis te ülteti szarra szandi bar. Te velem, de szokti hanlissá gurri. Én ami Afrika maszti vergődi szára, hegyszer randál rom, majd kávéka maszti trai szára, szár vunkai trai. Maron and Georgi are upwardly mobile gypsies. They don't own a horse and are putting all their money into house improvements. Maron is particularly proud of her clean room, a room kept by many gypsies as a special shrine never used by the family except to show off elaborate furnishings. Maron and Yoji are raising a bank loan against their wage income to pay for more decorating. Joji's mother, Marcha, wants some money for her husband to buy a horse. When the money is handed over, Joji can't turn down his mother's appeal. <laughs> By the next day, Yoji's father has bought his horse. The spirit of generosity has problems. Therese fattens these pigs but she cannot afford to kill and eat them. Hadgada Rumengi Kasavita Rigada Kijanel Udel Nasarigaji, 
Oggi gauge non ho dato chi è palato perché sono si dunda mentre che romentro butte da. Ui de ci come le mai romeni. Noi moni vi calezaia. In spite of the demands in being a gypsy, the alternative life, absorption into Hungarian society has few attractions. Maron and Yoji once tried living here on a housing estate in town. The Hungarian authorities want to clear gypsy settlements, so building new houses here is banned. Repairs, though, are allowed. So, to make room for new generations, the gypsies knock down all but one wall of an old house and repair the rest on a grander scale. Like a town under siege, everyone will help the common cause. It's the other side of the coin of sharing wealth. If a gypsy has food, they must share it with their own people. If there's work to be done, everyone joins in. Yes, <laughs> 